Mm. So, Zeg, so you've gone from being an artist yes. to working for a massive international music company yes. to being pulled back into um, the life of music. Yeah. What is it about music that keeps drawing you back to the stage? I think um, until the day we have like a huge superstar, like a global superstar that lives in South Africa, mm. that could tour the world, you know? That could fill all any stadium in the world. You like go to Wakatuku, you fill the stadium. Oh. Go to China, mm. you fill the stadium. You go anywhere, that artist is known like American artists are. Mm. And I think that's the day where one would relax and be like, okay, let me relax. For now, we just need to plant that seed. Sure. Until Absolutely. until we have that huge superstar that lives and resides in South Africa. It's interesting you say this because with this particular body of music that you have out, that's almost like your plan. You want yeah. to. You have an appetite for that global market. Definitely, man. So, so where do you start? I mean, yeah, we can talk about South Africa. Yeah. We can talk about Africa because yeah. that's really, you know, where you've been massive if you, yeah. if you look at your career. Yeah. Mm. Uh, for me, for me, you know, I know other people's journey, they, 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 they would say US or maybe Europe, you know? Sure. For me, it's Africa. Uh -huh. You know, I, I'm, I'm starting here, obviously. I'm doing stuff in Europe, but I think my, 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 my conversation and my concentration is really in Africa. You know, I just... I was headlining a, uh, a Tanzanian uh, a festival, they called it South East Aposara, one of mm. the biggest festivals in the, mm. in the continent, you know, just last month, you know, last two weeks ago. And, and, and the journey continues, you know, one has to do Zambia, do Malawi, do, do uh, you know, uh, we have a very, uh, you know, a plan around doing a shrine during September. Sure. For the, you know, I mean, I'm a fellow good enthusiast. You know, oh, no, we know, know we yeah. know. It resonates so, in your music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because when, through your pores. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because when, you, when, you, when, you, when, you're in the, when you, when you, when you, anywhere like in Europe or in the States, yeah. and you have Africa, I, I know because the conversation, I was still at Sony when we had conversation around the issue that I think the Davido and the Whiskey issue uh -huh. when when those conversations were happening I was still at Sony and I know what why those guys wanted them because to them they were like these guys are Africa now you speaking know? of Africa you mentioned Ouagadougou and yeah. unless a person has been there it still remains a widely unknown place on the continent yeah. this is in uh, Burkina Faso yes. I've had the privilege of going there yeah. what was your business there um, I was still a dancer there. Uh, I was a dancer. What? Yeah, I was doing ballet in contemporary, guys. I really ballet? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's one part of your life that I missed. Yeah. Watch so out the tight number. <laughs> so I was, I, was, I was teaching dance, you know, um, yeah, yeah. and I was performing. So we, we were doing a show called What Are You Doing Here? It was a French uh, a company. So um, so we, I lived in, 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 in Europe, like in France, for like six months. So I just parle français comme si, comme ça. Okay. Then and then. So, so then I oui, taught. Oui. Yeah. Oui, so oui. I, then I taught, a, a, you know, colonized mm. French, uh, African countries. So that's when I, I, I go to actually travel and see Africa. Sure. What were you teaching? You were teaching dance contemporary, or music? Contemporary, contemporary and, and ballet. No, it was just strictly dance. You were teaching people ballet? Yeah. What? And dance in general. And dance Such in general. Such a masculine guy. Yeah, well, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I have to ask, <laughs> while we're talking about global and Africa, what does it actually take to make it globally? Is it about the music? Yeah. Is it about your connects? Is it about luck? What it's is about, it? It's about, it's about everything. It's, it's, but also it's about the appetite, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, the appetite of one, the industry, to you know, all these machines that we have in South Africa, mm -hmm. really, really, like, really supporting you, you know? Mm -hmm. Sampling your music overseas giving your music to other people because you know um chris brown's manager do, do not sample chris brown at metro fm somebody samples chris brown here mm. you mm. know um also what do you mean by also that? in botswana i'm saying if chris brown is sampled in south africa or in malawi or in senegal how comes this function isn't uh, and mm. who's sampling Chris Brown and not sampling? So the so major who is sampling Chris Brown and not, not sampling, sampling Zig 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 Zig. Exactly. Who is that? I'm you know what I mean? The well, it's this, this. It's record companies. So the majors. The majors. Uh -huh. So the majors. The majors is about okay. This market is like our market. Mm. It's the market for the the Europe and American ads. You know, but you know it's 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 different right now because now I know. <laughs> 
now I know, now I have, you now have I life. sample, well, now I like, what, like listen, well, we're gonna I find know. Out, we're going to find out exactly yeah. what it is Zig Spantini knows for sure. <laughs> and you're tuned into the Drive on Metro. You can tweet us at Mo Flavor DJ, at Masa Chabandro, hashtag The Drive.